Hi you crafters, Amy here and I have a couple clean and simple cards featuring some delicate die cuts. So let's jump right in. You can see here I already die cut out a couple of these gorgeous little floral dies. I'm going to use them on my card today and you'll find on this video things don't go as I intended. Now I'm sure you guys can relate to this but here are a couple photos of the two finished cards that I'm going to make for you today. Um, but how I came about making them was not exactly how I intended. So we'll show you how I made it work and move forward even though it didn't go quite as planned. Now I have these tools. Um, I don't know exactly what they're called. They're probably used more often for um, using clay or things like that. But what I'm doing is pushing the blooms into this piece of foam from the center in a circular motion and moving outward. And what it's doing is it's basically rounding these blooms. Now I saw this trick from Chris Stokes. If you aren't familiar with her, she has a YouTube channel and she does the most gorgeous clean and simple cards. Um, and she showed how to do this technique and my mind was blown because it really adds so much to your card. So I will link her video in the video description box below if you want to check out her video and her channel. Um, she has lots of really cool helpful ideas. So basically I'm just pushing uh, right into this foam because it has a little bit of give and it allows me to really kind of round the edge of these blooms. So you can see I'm kind of switching in between the bigger and the smaller of the, the rounded tools. Now, I don't know what they're called. I know they're for clay. I actually use them for my alcohol ink. You can do like a really cool dotted effect um, with this tool. So it's just kind of a fun um, item to have in your crafty stash that you can use with a lot of your different mediums. But this looks so cool when it's finished and I'm so thankful that I happened to catch that video of hers to learn how to do this because it really is a game changer with clean and simple cards. So I'm just kind of getting this exactly how I want it, um, kind of adding some dimension, moving carefully, um, but adding some pressure as I go just to kind of really round it out and then I will um, set that aside. Now here is where it didn't quite go as planned. This is the gorgeous Bloom Mandala stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. Um, it's a small woman-owned stencil company in Texas. And I definitely want to use some pixie spray with this because it's very delicate and it will shift around on me. So I did give it another coating of pixie spray and then I pushed it down directly on this card base of 110 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White. And I do like to use the brayer because that really allows you to push that stencil down into the cardstock. So I'm going to push this down, brayer it, get it ready to go, and then I have this gorgeous suede shoes color from Catherine Pooler. It's a nice bright royal blue color. Now my thought initially was that I was going to put these little die cuts on top of this and just make one card um, because I thought well it needs some color, it needed something. Um, so I'm going really dark in the center with the ink kind of heavy-handed and then just blending out more light. And then I thought I would put the die cuts you know somewhere in the center where it was really concentrated color um, and then that would help it really pop off the card so that's kind of where my mind is going i don't really have a plan i haven't tried this before i'm winging it but this is kind of the direction that i want to go and in typical fashion like i'm sure many of you often experience like me it just doesn't look quite right or doesn't go quite exactly as planned. So I'm just wiping off my work surface because I am working directly on the card base and you could see you can't even really see these die cuts when you put them on top of it. So I was pretty bummed. I'm sitting here thinking, <laughs> tapping my fingers and I thought, eh, okay, well we're going to make a second card. So this is how I addressed the, the oopsie or the issue. Um, I grabbed a different card base, same thing, Nina Classic Crest. And then I have these little foam dots. Now this is the way that um, Chris Stokes um, taught in her video to kind of support where you gave these florals dimension. So you're gonna kind of round them up with the pressure of that little tool, but then you need it to be supported when all is said and done. So you're gonna wanna put some sort of adhesive on the parts that don't have the foam dots but you do want the foam dots there to kind of support that dimension that you created. So these little foam circles from scrapbook.com were the perfect size just to kind of put behind 
these little florals. And then my way of adding, you could use liquid glue, of course, to add to the stems, but I didn't want it to ooze out and I don't really have patience for that. So I recently discovered these micro dots um, and I do have a video where I kind of showcase that, but I decided just to put the whole shebang down right on these micro dot sheets. And then that way it will apply micro dots to the stem. So you do have full adhesive um, backing on your die cuts, but then you have the little foam um, bits to kind of support it in the mail so that it doesn't get crushed down and that you lose the cool dimension that you created on the back of the floral parts. So I'm just removing the backers and then I will lay the whole thing down on these um, artist tack micro dot sheets just to add adhesive basically to the other parts. Now you can do it both ways. I've done it um, a different time where I add the adhesive um, micro dots first and then add the foam dots second. So you can really do it either way. The, the thing is just to be, make sure that you get adhesive on all of it, on the stems and on the blooms. So you can see here that awesome shadow that it creates um, on this clean and simple card. And that is honestly what Chris Stokes is just absolutely brilliant at um, are these clean and simple cards. She's so good at them. And then you'll see here I have this stamp set from All to New and I'm using this very simple thinking of you and I decide I want to stamp that directly on the card base just to add a sentiment and finish off the card. So I have the card base loaded up in my mini Misty and I have a gray ink here just because I felt like black might be a little too harsh and I stamp this down, apply some pressure with my press tool. Um, do it a couple times just to make sure it's nice and even and then that's going to finish that card. Now I decide I want to use the same thinking of you on the other card but I want to use the same blue ink that I used with the ink blending so I made sure the stamp was really clean and then repositioned it on the composition where I wanted it on the second card. So I'm just kind of making sure that's straight here and then I'll pick it up with the misty door and then stamp it with that same suede shoes ink. Um, just to kind of continue the color throughout the card. But very clean and simple. Um, this one is single layer, very easy to ship. The other one obviously has some dimension, but also very clean and simple. So these came together really quickly. Um, I'm really pleased with how they turned out. Uh, do be sure to check out Chris Stokes' video. She is fantastic. Um, and I will link all the available products in the video description box below if you expand and scroll down. Um, and don't forget to use my coupon if you shop for some stencils. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day.